Hello, Ella. How can I help you? You can't what? Sorry. This is Ella. Say hi, Ella. It's your bedtime now, isn't it? Yes. You're gonna go to bed now, aren't you? <laughs> Good girl. Give me a kiss. Mm, love you. Take your glasses off when you sleep, okay? I can watch me. No, you can't. Go to bed. Go on. Go to bed. Go play Minecraft. Build me a big castle and show me in the morning, okay? Go on. <laughs> Good. So, following that brief little introduction and interruption from my eldest daughter, who was being nosy, I poured myself a glass of Bailey's Red Velvet Cupcake. It is yummy. Welcome to Procession to Calvary. No idea what this is. I saw the, the thumbnail and it looked like a Renaissance painting, so I was like, let's give this a go. So, here we go. Oh. That's on fire. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, nice. Off to a good start. Whoa, that's enough. Holy war is over. No way already. Yes, we won. Dang. Go rejoice. Good has triumphed over evil. <laughs> Guy just hanging with the scissors on the left. The North is finally free from the tyranny of Heavenly Peter. Does that mean they have to stop murdering people? Yes, we are now entering a time of peace. A time of spiritual freedom. But I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people. No. No more murders. One more better. No more murders. This is the worst day of my life. If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with our new leader, Immortal John. All hail Immortal John. All hail Immortal John. I guess I better find this Immortal John chap. Skeleton just signed someone's head off. Okay, and um, slower cursor. Faster cursor, flash hot spots, draw, resheath, sword, interact, skip, cancel, interaction type. Okay, so what is it? Is it a point and click adventure? It's a point and click adventure! <gasps> Death beheading covered. Ah, oh, it's a point and click. Amazing. This death beheading a wee covered over there. No biggie. Are oh, you Scottish? I want to do the accent. I think I better leave him to it. I think I better leave him to it. Okay, casual. Bugle boys. A group of lads playing the Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sauce. I was going to say Stars and Stripes Forever. Please enjoy this gormless still of my face as I explain what some of you may have already picked up on. The song Stars and Stripes Forever was in fact composed in the late 19th century and then this piece of game takes place I don't know between like the 14th and 19th centuries so yeah historical inaccuracies but it's a cool tune and we like it nonetheless in Renaissance times I didn't think of that what a happy time bravo oh, that was me that was him clapping dead guy you must put a big hole in this poor chaps. Rest in peace, you leaky titty. <laughs> leaky titty bird. Whoever's watching this, by the way, you're a leaky titty bird. I think I'll leave him there. Okay, uh, Lieutenant General. My Lieutenant General with his heel on the throat of a southerner. Field Marshal. My Field Marshal clasping the broadsword to his ample bosom. Hello. What do you want now? Please, can I kill some more people? <laughs> no. If you have a problem with it, oh, we've got to find a Martin John. 
where can I find a mortal job? But when will I be able to do more murders? Never. No more murders. Please, can I, uh, where will I find a mortal job? So we're 20 paces to the right. It's really uh, difficult. Okay, I'm off. Good luck. Thank you for your service. And remember, no more murders. Loaded to hanging cards with a pair of scissors sticking out of its back. Can I get the scissors? There's a pair of scissors sticking out of this poor chap's back. I wonder if they were administered pre post mortem. Yes! Point to click adventure! Gross. Um, what's that down there? Nothing. Burning village. I can see my house from here. If I click on the ground, I will walk forward. Okay. Um, speak to it. I think the fire has progressed beyond the blow it out phase. Okay. Let's go 20 paces to the right then. Oh. Oh, there's a mortal, John. There he is. Some religious types debasing themselves in front of Immortal John. They're busy with their prosperations. Can I touch them? Grab them? <laughs> All hail Immortal John. <laughs> Casually spank them. Hey, we've all got one now. Everybody gets a spank. <laughs> I've got an achievement for that. It's called Spank the Bishop. <laughs> Amazing. Um, is there anything else I can do? What's in the tent? What's that book? It's not really much else I can do, is there? I can just speak to the immortal John. Immortal John, the new spiritual leader of the North. Excuse me, how can I help you? Are you our new leader? I am just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader. They have given me a crown, but my life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title, but the people have chosen to follow me, and I believe their will to be more important than my own individual desire. Can I do some more murders now, please? Absolutely not more. Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over. I intend to be a b benevolent leader. I believe all men and women are equal and equally deserving of happiness. I believe in friendship and love. I believe we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. I do not believe in murder. Uh, did I recognize you from somewhere? Quite possibly. I used to be a protagonist, just like you. I believed I was somewhat special, somehow more important than everyone else. I thought that I had a personal mission in life, and that my desire to achieve my goals justified all manner of terrible deeds. Oh yeah? You're the dude who murdered the Pie King. Indeed. That is one of the many misdeeds I was driven to perform in my selfishness. Oh, Pie King. What led you to adopt such religious beliefs? Ridiculous beliefs. I suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly Peter. I led the people in an uprising against his murderous regime. We fought the soldiers of the South and drove Peter and all his followers home. Men, women and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And we achieved something so great none of us had ever dared to dream it possible. That was when I realized the error of my own selfish ways. The power of the people with a shared goal of teamwork. It was revelation more powerful than any I had been supplied by God. So we renounced his words and began looking to each other for guidance. Wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter? No. Unfortunately, he fled back to the south before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be against your beliefs to, for me to murder him. Well, he did murder my family and attempt to murder me, and while he is one of the, the people, he is not one of my people. So I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes! You won't regret this, my lord. We should accept it. I'm not... 
strictly speaking, asking you to, in an official, travel south, kill Heavenly Peter. Got it. I didn't actually all hail Immortal John. <laughs> He's off. We're off. Oh, I bowed man. <laughs> What's good? Sorry, I've got to check the children. One second. I'll come back. Check out my girls real quick. They're both okay. They're both settling down for bed. I'm pouring myself another red velvet cupcake drink. Okay. Was he what? I've got a Hi, Burtman. Can you take me to the south? I could take you to a lugger. That could take you to a brig. That could take you to a fully rigged pinnacle. That could take you to the south. Splendid! Let us depart without further delay. I want to know what's going on here before I go anywhere. <laughs> but I will begin anyway to get my oars back. What happened to your oars? They were se sequestered by the medics at the field hospital to make critches and the like for the battle-worn soldiers. If you have no oars, why are you still standing in your boat? I'm a boatman. I have to mind the boat. That is literally my only job, and I ain't going to stop just because some punk stole my oars. He's got a corner shock sent now. Do you ever get seasick? I once got exposed for urea from eating bucket cockles. I aimed it over the edge of the boat, and the poop was so powerful I travelled for eight furlongs northeast before dawn. Does that count? No, I think that would count as food poisoning. Thanks for the nightmares. Um, I guess I should go find some oars then, eh? That would be lovely. Thanks. Wait, what's going on here? Nude men wrestling by the sea. <laughs> My new album title. A couple of lads having a jolly old naked tussle. <laughs> I don't want to get involved. Yes, we do. I don't want to get involved. Yes, we do. Can we steal a sock? It's got a clothing. For some reason, these chaps decided to get naked before fighting. I guess they didn't want to get their jerkins dirty. <laughs> yes, I'm looking for if I can see Balzac, and I can, and now I'm happy for that reason. Or maybe they did want to get their jerkins dirty. I'm not here to judge. Let's pick it up. I'm already dressed immaculately. How do we get inventory? A grey wigged cellist playing Johann Sebastian Bach Suite Number Three in C Major. Bravo! That's good. The doodlutes match the music, which is nice. Oh. I don't want to get involved. Right, so I can... I can stab people if I want to. Okay, so that shows me what I can do. Rope. The rope has been tied to the morning post of the boat floating away. My only means of travelling would be fly with the tide. It's nice to have that right. Okay, can I go this way? No. What is this game? I absolutely love it. Right, here we go. Oh, he's got some oars. Curiously placed guitar player performing in Domenico Scalati's Sonata in E minor. Tune. God, the music of this game is so good, and these artworks are all genuine Renaissance paintings as well, which makes it the best. Obviously, they're, you know, 
someone slapped the word hospital over here, which isn't legitimate, but you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, who should I talk to first? Let's talk to, um... <laughs> Richardson Knight. A sad oafish knight with a rather fetching battle axe. And that was battle axe. Are you okay? Nope. <laughs> Why's the glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. <laughs> I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. About time too. Heavenly Peter's the source of all our woes. The list of his crimes is longer than that poor man's hair. Can you help me get to the south? I'm no up to anyone. Not with that attitude. That is all. <sighs> A pitiful looking knight with no shoes on. Hello? What do you want? What are you doing down there? Wanting to get looked at by the doctor. What are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my tootsies are cold. <laughs> I think you need a cobbler or a cod winner. Not a doctor. The doctor is a cobbler. <laughs> he got promoted after the last chump took a spear in the midriff. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you. <laughs> Heavenly Peter's the worst kind of villain. He raped my home and pillaged my wife. <laughs> Can you help me get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? No, you look like a grumpy knight. I suggest you find a ship if you want to go south. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, resting knight. A long-haired knight, languishing in the lap of a lady. He has a great hair. Hello? How can I help you? What's up? We are waiting in line for the field hospital. What injuries are you seeking care for? His hair has grown too long and keeps poking his peepers. That doesn't sound very serious. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hardship. This poor chap has had an easy life thus far. Oh, boo hoo. I am going to kill Emily Peter. He's just that, isn't he? Wonderful. Emily Peter's a scoundrel. He once farted on the prefirm preferment for my meat and my loaf, and the yeast became so active that it lifted the act of my kitchen. Can you help me get to the south? I don't know anything about that sort of thing. This is ridiculous. Never mind. Should we clap for him? Bravo! What can we do with him? Oh, there, there. Everything will be okay. I appreciate... Appreciate the gesture, but I see no evidence to support your claim. I can't remember the voices of everyone, I'm sorry. The entrance of the field hospital. A fancy looking guy standing by a door. Excuse me. Yes? Step aside, I must enter the field hospital. The hospital is at capacity. You'll have to wait in line. Do you accept bribes? I do not. How about now? <laughs> Please go away. That's an expensive looking suit of armor for somebody on guard duty. I didn't buy this armor, I murdered its previous owner. Never mind. Don't even think about it. Hello? Ha! <laughs> Piss off. As you can see, from the queue at my right, I'm very busy. I've 100 sick men in here and only two lubricated thumbs. I don't have time to chat. You heard the man. Piss off. Piss off.
Let's talk to this guy. Because he's got what we need. A one-legged beggar with some unorthodox crutches. Hey. Yes, miss? Can I borrow your... What do you need them for? I'm travelling south to kill Heavenly Peter. I need the crutches to power the dinghy that will take me to the lugger, that will take me to the brig, that will take me to the fully rigged pinnacle, that will take me to the south. Well, I do hate Heavenly Peter. I'd still have two whole legs if it wasn't for him. But as a strict follower of the doctrine of immortal John, I believe my own wishes to be secondary to those of the people, so I will have to ask them. Uh, okay. Hey guys, should I give this lass my crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Nope, don't trust her. Yeah, why not? No way. That small bitch already has socks and shoes. <laughs> why should she get crutches too? Sorry. One out of three is not consensus. Uh, what happened to your leg? Whoa. Keep it more specific. Got bit by a pine martin while carrying in the thicket of az azaleas. 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 The wound went septic and went septic and they had to cut my leg off to stop the rock sprinting at my tits. <laughs> Do you like samphire? What's that? I don't know, it's like a herb or something. I don't have an opinion on that. Cool. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> uh, can I borrow your crutches now? I don't know, let's see. Hey guys, should I give this last? Oh, I see. Yeah, why not? No way. Okay, so I need to convince these people. Um. Right, what was this problem again? Her oh! Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, I have something. <gasps> Would you like to use my scissors? Thanks! Long hair usually gives a man a kind of regal ele elegance. Mm, yes, it does. But this guy's greasy mop is doing quite the opposite. Hello? I'll get up here. Ah, uh, okay. Right, now if I ask... Yeah, she looks cool. Yeah, why not? No way! It's really bad. I'll be less crawling through the muck from now on. Here. Yikes! <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I love this. Thanks. No problem. Oh. I feel really bad now. <laughs> Abuse democracy. Got an achievement for that. You okay down there? Fine, thanks. Right, what's that? Is that anything I can grab? <laughs> no. Let's go this way. To tell Immortal John the plan. What time do you remember there? No. Uh, hey, Immortal John. Excuse me, how can I help you? Um, how did you get the name Immortal John? Before the war, Evelyn Peter forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called the Leap of Faith. It was a cruel tradition he used to absolve himself the responsibility of murder. One of many such techniques he used to keep us, the people, in a state of terrified subservience. But I broke the chain by landing and passing Hayway. I survived for a little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. The people mistook my superdipitous survival for a miracle. My name is Mortal John. Are you really immortal? Without it. But I guess it's impossible to know for sure until it's too late. Wise. Goodbye. Be good. Right. Is that a bucket of gravel with block? No, all I can do is spank them. I like the music. Graphics solid 5 out of 7. Who rates things out of 7? Let's go to the boat and give the Orman his oars back.
<laughs> the graphics getting better now. Right. Boatsman. Ah, oh, I've got your arse. I've got you some dang arse. Can take me to the logger. That can take me to the brig. That can take me to a rig full pinnacle. That can take me to the south now. Sure. Just untie us from the morning and jump in. Prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Adventures. <laughs> of course, of course, she's holding the flag. What a queen! Mm. That is really yummy. Oh no, storm! stuff. It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Look at her run. Oh dear. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a ride. I never would have gone this far and felt foot. No problem, pal. <laughs> what are you travelling this far south for anyways? Fail in the holy flee in the holy war, I guess. I don't know what the voice is, sorry. The holy war is over. We won. Ain't no winners in war, lady. <laughs> now what's happening? Looks like one of your wheels broke. But judging by that massive statue of Heavenly Peter, I'd say we've reached my destination. So I couldn't care less. So long, sucker. <laughs> Look at my massive key. What business do you have in our town? I'm here on a holy pilgrimage. Okay, let's see a tourist visa. I don't have a tourist visa. Well, you can't come in without a valid visa. Look at my massive key. <laughs> Look at this massive key! Seriously though, we don't just let any old refresh into our town. Piss off. This is phenomenal. <laughs> Who's the sucker now? Both of us, I guess. Oh yeah. Bang. Can you help me get into the town? Oh, now you need my help. Yes, please. I am a registered shell trader with a shell trading visa. So I could sneak into the town in the back of my shell cart, but I won't be going anywhere until I get this wheel fixed and cheer up my donkey. Oh, What's wrong with your donkey? He's sad. <laughs> I have to cheer him up before I can get back on the road. What's wrong with your wheel? It's broken. I have to find a new one before I can go any further. I'm on it. Cheerio! Right, so. New missions. Fix the wheel. Cheer up the donkey. Five piece orchestra. A small chamber orchestra playing Antonio Vivaldi's chamber concerto in F major from the top of a well pruned stone pine. Bravo! So, the suggestion is give the donkey the wheel as a nice gift. Rogan down shell cart. Let's have a look at the Rogan down shell cart. Let's see what the problem is. Not sure, there's a lot of shells. Can I get any shells? It won't budge without two wheels. Okay. Woman on donkey. Look at woman on donkey. What are you looking at? Nothing, sorry. Okay, um... Let's look at the statue. A huge, gaudy, golden statue of Heavenly Peter. I guess I'm in the right place. Can I take the statue? Just the statue. Save my aggression with the real thing. F you, Heavenly Peter. Can we go up here? We can. Oh dear me, what's going on here? <laughs> Remember you recently crucified relatives? The way God intended. With commemorative t shirts. <laughs> A 
Okay, what are you doing there? I fancy flautist playing Beethoven's quartet number 10 in E major. Like his breeches are on fire. This guy's having a bad day. I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. I got rich. Oh my gosh, there's some heads. A collection of seven heads. Some a lot fresher than others. Can I... They don't look very talkative. Can I grab them? Can I borrow one of your heads? Sure. You never know when you're going to need a maggot-ridden corpse. Bonce. Am I right? <laughs> I was being for she to it. Oh, too late. No backsies. <laughs> Why is this game? I love it. Right. She seems to be selling t-shirts around the faces of crucified men. Hello. Hello. What's going on here then? I'm selling crucifixion merchandise. So the loved ones of the recently crucified go home with something to remember them by. It's a pretty lucrative gig. Uh, watch with the seven heads. I can't fit a whole person on a t-shirt. But I find it hard to draw the heads without drawing the shoulders. So I use the seven heads for reference. I'd like to buy one of your lovely crucifixion memorabilia, please. You got coins? Nope. Nope. No coins, no merch. Okay. I bid thee farewell. Oh. Dost thou bid me fare thee well? Huzzah! I am honoured to have been granted the chance to share discourse with such a lady. A queen, no doubt, from the property of her speech. Piss off. <laughs> we like her, she's Saki. Um, seven heads, I've got a seven head. Because they're cops. Chaps. He looks nervous, he's a new bee and high diver. <gasps> he's the one on the t shirt. Not a conversation. Not rich. Oh. Oh, more heads. Um, what about... What's going on back there? Don't tell me you have to use the... I have to use the head as a wheel, because it rolls. He looks really happy when it isn't. <gasps> Skunk! This game's amazing. The rest of them went loincloth, no shirt. This guy went shirt, no loincloth. That's a bold fashion choice and I love it. Can't reach it, okay. Uh, stink, stink, stink. It's a large, stinky butted skunk. Can I talk to the skunk? Word don't work on wild animals. We're only interested in food and sex. Much like people in the chat. Am um, I right? This one's pretty handsome. I don't think he's in the move conversation. I can reach him. Can't reach, okay. Let's kill a skunk. I will do no such thing. Okay, let's stab the people. I don't do mercy killings. Not my style. Man the oh, there's a wheel. A crippled dying man strapped to a perfectly functional wheel. Can't reach it. I don't think I'd be strong enough to pull it with my bare hands. Hmm. Suspicious see Hot spotty post. Hmm, why am I even examining this post? I can't chew through it. Actually, probably would eventually, but I'm sure there's an easier way. If I get down with a sword. Skills! And on the wheel. Okay, so, um. 
I just pop that in my pocket. <laughs> right, now we've got to cheer the donkey up. Can you grab a skunk? Oh lord, that stinks. Right, so we can't... Let's go up this way. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Um, <gasps> the apple for the donkey. A plump red apple. Can I take it? Don't even think about touching my target apple. A naked man standing on a rock with a longbow. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? What are you doing up there? I'm playing shoot the apple off my silly off the silly man's head. Where are all your clothes? I don't have any. I'm nude. What do you do in the winter? I stay active. <laughs> are you going to shoot the dang apple off the chump's head or not? Don't rush me. Okay, now ready. Yay! Firing glow is easy when your butt is exposed to the elements. Let it be noted. I can't reach his face. And I won't want to take a cheap shot. And I don't want to take a cheap shot at his testicles. Okay. So what's going on here? <laughs> this guy's having a rough day. We talked to him. He's no fit to have a conversation. A couple of spit boys roasting or ne'er do well. I'm not sure spit roasting is the best form of punishment, but if you are going to cock, cook a man, this is definitely the best way to do it. Hello. What are you doing? Then? What you doing? <laughs> We're torturing a free fight boy. Cooking up his gaps and the like. Ouch. Ouch, ain't wrong. Um, what is this chap down to deserve such a fate? He only stole the goddamn couple of bloody pliers, didn't he? And then when we caught the plum red handed, he swallowed the flippant evidence. He swallowed the pliers? That's a commitment to freedom that should be rewarded. Or a level of stupidity that should be giggled at. <laughs> Do you really think physical torture is an effective form of punishment? Don't you think it's a system of rehabilitation and reintegration would be more humane? Are you questioning the methods of yon heavenly Peter then? Because that would be heresy and I don't mind telling you goodbye you a few days on the rack. Oh no, I was only kidding. I love torture. Carry on. I'll leave you to it. You know, you will. Right, so that guy's got pliers in him. Remember that for later. Uh, right. Metronome. Oh my... actually called the metronome. Tidy, impeccably dressed timekeeper. I don't want to put him off his rhythm. A slightly somber lute player performing John DeWall's Fantasia. Anyway, can we talk to you now? Hello. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> Haven't I suffered enough? Apple with an arrow through the middle. Drink. Can I have my arrow back, please? Sure. I'm strictly infantry trained. I wouldn't know what to do with this thing anyway. Thanks. I believe that's everything I can do here. Unless I can... Oh!
Okay. That was nice. Are you sure that's a good idea? Save your progress before you ask me again. Hey! You really need to swallow a couple of pliers. Turn those handles now. We stop turning our handles and we see fit, thanks. Okay. Bye then. I mean, now what we can do with pliers. Uh, okay, so now I can go fix the wheel. Oh, wait, I need. I want some coins, where can I get coins from? <gasps> Wait, go back. The uh, fiddler had a bucket on, its, on, on his leg. How'd that happen then? Come on, Steve. Let's get you home to your wife. I don't want to go back. She gave me a few more hours. You're squandering your prime days. One second, the child is shouting at me. Hi, I'm back, everyone. Turns out my little girl wasn't shouting at me. She was just shouting Blippy because she's watching Blippy and she got excited because he came on telly. Hey. You squandered your prime. Play dead in an empty grave. Think of all the thrills you could be seeking if you were standing aloft. Or the pranks you could be pulling with your pants on. But it's so peaceful in there. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I took a turn. This bird is blocking the entrance to some sort of cave. Oh Steve. Oh Steve. He's resting in peace now. Pieces, there's two of them. Um, horny man. Some somber looking horn players unleashing a particularly dramatic version of Ranga's Siege Free Siege Freed. Do 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 Bravo. Pile of bones. What point does a pile of bones become a skeleton? You need a full set, sure, but you have to store them in the correct order. Hello, bones. Ha <laughs> ha Bones can't talk, you fool. So just as. <laughs> Wait. Collect. I don't want a pile of grizzled bones. Okay, fine. So the audio's cut out here because what happened was uh, Twitch actually copyright striked me. And so I'm basically the dead guy here. And it just says, looks like a dead guy. Dead guy. Hello? He didn't respond. So <laughs> this game makes you do the most logical thing. Poke him. And then he opens up. <laughs> Trying to sleep here, pal. Um, yeah, there's there's a massive chunk of um, chunk of, of no audio here. So you have to really just concentrate. And I really do apologise. I mean, it's going to be good. Let's go. So, um, what's this? what was this? Big hole? Let's investigate the big hole, everyone. I need some coins for a t-shirt. I need to find the guy something to hug. Someone has dug a big hole in the muck. Is anyone down the big hole? Hello? Anyone down there? Guess not. 
There's nothing down there. Can I go down there? Guess not. Um. Hey, let's go talk to the wood of the donkey. Let's try and get this bit done first. What are you looking at? Nothing, sorry. Right, uh, let's give the... Apple to the donkey. This should perk him up a bit. Thanks. Right, that's good. Now we'll go to the wheel. Broken seesaw. Broken uh, thing. Hello? <laughs> what the heck is happening? Quite heathen. <laughs> that should do the job now. Thanks. Will you help me get into town? Nah. I'm not going to that town. I'll send you a film to manipulate you to helping me. I'm not a traitor at all. I just fucking love shells. So long, sucker. Oh, gosh darn it. Ha ha ha. That was savage. You didn't tell us you were a gullible rube. The only thing we love more than high priority skill labor is gullible rubes. Our whole economy is based on the exploitability of gullible rubes. I hereby grant you free access to our town on an indefinite gullible rubes visa. Look at my massive key! Look at his massive key! You guys are the worst. Look at my massive key! I can see the balikla on the other side of the canal. <gasps> That's where I need to get to. Heavenly Peter's Basilica. God, this is so Monty Python, I love it. Okay, establish that. Right, okay. Oh, that was weird. I guess I know where to find Heavenly Peter now. A pair of pipers playing through a film of You Lost Her Love by Thomas Morley. Ah, a goat! Oh, I can't talk to the goat. Love me a goat. I'm gonna get a pet goat. Because I saw Thor Love and Thunder, and then I went to Beetlebank Farm in uh, Merton. And all oh, the little pygmy goats were adorable, so I want some pygmy goats in my garden. Let's talk to the pipe tutors. Bravo! What's the sign? Is that a notice I can read? Nope. Door. Let's, let's go this way and go through all the doors. There's still the mystery of the big hole and still the, um... Whoa, the skunk. And we have to give get the book for some reason. We need some, we need some coins to buy a t-shirt. It's the door. Knock, knock. Sorry, today's performances have been cancelled. We can't try to tell it you while there's a murderer on the loose. Oh, interesting. Can I open the door? Sorry, today's performances have been murderer on the loose. Okay, that's interesting. Shall I just hack the door down with my sword? I don't want to study my blade. Okay, fine. That music would sound really good with just guitar, harmony guitar playing it, which I'm going to make a note of that song. Are they going to say the same thing? Piss off! I hope the door was a day murderer in town. Right, so there's a murderer going around. Oh, look. Some murder clothes. What was this song again? Morley. Like the beautiful, not at all rough and chavy suburb of Leeds. Okay. So all the dolls are going to say this, aren't they? Let's see. Who are you? No. Hello? Bit of murderer. How do you know? It's the door. Hello? Go away. We don't want any trouble. Go away. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll talk to this guy. Ferryman. Put bellied ferryman, manning a ferry. 
Excuse me. How may I help you? Would you take me to the church, please? Do you have a boat pass? Nope. Then I can't take you anywhere, I'm afraid. Where can I get a boat pass? I have absolutely no idea. Shouldn't you know that kind of thing? Yes, I think it's fair to say I should. People must ask you all the time. They do. But you never thought to find out the answer. Never crossed my mind. Is there another way? I don't know how to walk on water. Okay, no further questions. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. So, this area is... I can't do anything here. I had a boat pass. Um... There's nothing I can really do. I wonder if I can reload the game to that area. I've tried to have nothing else to talk to, no one else to talk to. I can't get across the river without the boat pass. Hey, I'm just going to pause it again here on my gormless face just to explain that when I played through this I had in mind the idea to not save it and go back and just let whatever consequences happen to my actions so if um, it's got a branching story I'll just deal with it but um, yeah basically I, I cut out a massive chunk of where I kind of went around trying to find anything else and then what happens next is it's kind of well unforgivable but I did it anyway. <laughs> it's better best to punch your man in the back of the head. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Oh! Well, okay. This kind of feels like cheating. I'm not going to regret that decision later. Am I going to regret that decision later? All I can do is go this way, apparently. Please. A couple of really cheap loot play playing neighbours bonding over Fantasia and it's 55 by Francesco de Milano. I'd love to play the loot through a window to a neighbour. Hello, traveller. Welcome to Heavenly Peter's Bas Basilia. Bas Basilicia. How do you have service? I'd like to kill him, please. I'm here to murder Heavenly Peter. Ha ah, ha, that's definitely not allowed. Dang. The church is not open to visitors at the moment. There's a murderer on the loose. We don't want a murderer coming in and murdering Heavenly Peter. We don't want that at all. Piss off. <laughs> oh. Lion. Tiny lion! Looks like a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, aren't you? I want the tiny lion. Good boy. Oh, the same thing. Okay. Let's call this calling. These guys are giving off real creepy vibes. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure I told you to piss off. I was talking to the scholars, not you. <laughs> you! Ah, uh, <gasps> scum! Please stop that. Again, I hate you. I'm not too really fond of you either. You. Oh, it's going around again. Ah, uh, scum! I just get, I'm getting achievements for every single punch here. This is amazing. Okay, please stop that. How can you hit him? <laughs> you cannot intimidate us with violence. We are unintimidatable. <laughs> a tree of chuppy horn players working on a section of George Friedrich Handel's music for the Royal Fireworks. Ooh. That's fun. Bravo. Why has he got a... Uh... Can I take the lion? I can't go that way yet. Can I stab them? Oh, indeed I can. 
I'm gonna get zapped again right now. Yep. Okay, now I need to the losers. In you go. <laughs> C'est Francois Cupirin's troisième leçon de Tronabre. How's that for pronunciation? Am I doing anything in here? Oh, it's a big room. I love these little buildings. It, just, it reminds me of York Minster. Because of how like big and it is with the uh, the graves on the floor. Yes, I love that. Uh, I can go that way, or I can go. I can only go this way. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Hey, isn't that the murderer? Yes. Isn't she marvelous? What? No, she's a murderer. Sure, she is a murderer, but she's also kind of a badass. And a strong film of hormones are pretty hard to come by around here. Okay, whatever. We should definitely alert the guards, though, right? Oh yeah, that, that bitch is going down. <laughs> but I was still in the shit out of her jailers at the execution. <laughs> okay, so the guards are coming for me because I'm a murderer. Who did a murder? Let's see, the guard, the boatman, the guy getting spit-roasted, and the time of your viewers. Tell him a few things. That's who you've murdered so far. I can't believe I asked that question of myself. That was ridiculous. Fancy organs playing. You're always Sebastian Bach's flute and fugue in A minor. I do love a bit of Bach. What's going on over here? What's up, dickwoods? <laughs> oh, Heavenly Peter. Wistful lackey. A surprisingly casual, rather bored looking pink frocked lackey. I don't have time to check with Peter's lackeys. A creepy looking bald headed lackey. I have no quarrel with this guy, I'm here for Peter. That's him, Heavenly Peter. Hold it right there, buddy. Oh, I should have just zapped him. You're coming with me, pal. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? Me and my army. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I should have just tried to stab him rather than talking to him. Never mind. We got captured. I know I said my game earlier, but, um,. I'm literally going to play this game without going back, so whatever choice I make is a choice I live with. Sometime later. <gasps> no, it's not me, is it? She hasn't been crucified, is she? Oh, no way! Is that us? Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the end of the game. Cross with my tits out, just like not caring about life. Okay, bye, 
So what happened was, in the end of this, I didn't actually record a sign-off or a tag. I just kind of stopped the stream and it stopped and I didn't realise that. So I did eventually just go through and play more of the game, but um, I didn't really finish it. So what I did is I'm just going to leave it there as a complete package. So if you want to find out more, go and check this game out because it is absolutely thrilling. It's a load of fun. It's a complete silliness. And basically the mistake I made was murdering the guy in the spit and it all kind of broke from there because everyone found out I was a murderer and hid in their houses, wouldn't come out, and so I couldn't progress the game properly. I could have stabbed Heavenly Peter at the end there, maybe, if I was quick enough, but I didn't take that initiative. I was just kind of ready to go go and explore more of the game. So that's that's the game. That's it. Um, don't know. Um, like the channel, share the channel, do whatever you want. Um, go and enjoy yourself and enjoy other people. Well, that sounded a bit rude, didn't it? Nonetheless, enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.